Hi friends, uh, this is one of the review video about uh, oscilloscopes. I have these two oscilloscopes, you can see this is the old gold star with me, uh, some 20 megahertz uh, OS 9020p oscilloscope. This is uh, CRO, uh, cathode ray oscilloscope and this is old, uh, you can say this is the grandpa and uh, this one I have, this is the latest uh, GW Instec uh, GDS 810S. A digital storage oscilloscope this is dso uh, 100 megahertz et 25 giga cycle per second what it is doing is it is taking samples uh, in its input this is you know uh, the people they know uh, who are working in electronics field they know that uh, what is uh, sampling rate for an oscilloscope this is very very much important this should be higher enough for this one is 25 giga cycle per second this is higher enough and if it is lower then your oscilloscope will not pick the signal perfectly uh, so this is and uh, what i will do is i am going to give you a little bit review of this one this i purchased uh, for some uh, 800 bucks something i paid for this one uh, but this one is good enough for my use because this is you know uh, 100 megahertz from 0 to 100 megahertz it do very well and now i will switch it on in front of you uh, so let us switch on there is a switch behind also that's on so here is the standby and on switch if we press on this one this oscilloscope will turn on and it will initialize this is something like a computer as you can see this is booting up G gw instec uh, system initialize system initial something like that and initializing 100 megahertz digital storage oscilloscope this one and some detail was coming and now it's set up both the channels are set up and this screen you can see so now what we are going to do is this is one of the prop this has two props two channels channel one channel two and this is external trigger this one is not used this is used for some special purpose but these two channels are normally used for measurements and this is for the external triggering this will also sometimes we will make a video i will shoot a video on this one also how we are using this uh, external trigger uh, so this one is and uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to check a signal uh, on this one so this is the this pin you can see this is they have given two volt square wave uh, this is for the calibration or for the test of the probe the signal is provided so you can see uh, the signal is uh, got by the oscilloscope and it is measured and this square wave the square wave form it's showing on the screen and here the channel one is uh, set on one volt uh, and there is the measurement is very very much easy on such such scopes but it was very difficult on these scopes because this was manually set up you was manually setting them up and it was very difficult on these uh, analog scopes to take a measurement with this scope with only one single button this auto set you can measure any signal let's let's see if i will shift to the next channel i mean the channel 2 i will shift it to so let us see channel 2 is showing but the signal is not perfect so what we can do i either i have to set up manually uh, some way like this as you can see this is now manually i'm setting it up something like this and it's not perfectly set same situation like this one is uh, but there is a button auto set this auto set if i will press one time this blue button auto set so it will set automatically so let us see i pressed one time and it is setting up internally it is setting up some relay switching is going on and it had been set up for a perfect waveform this perfect waveform i am getting over here and you can see there is a noise in this one so this is this is very very much common for oscilloscopes they are get picking up pinging up noise because these are very very much sensitive devices so that's why it is mm, so this one is and very beautiful scope you can say very easy to use of course this is not colored this is black and white screen you can say monochrome screen but for screen color i am not uh, having any concern because this is one is written and two is written i can see from here which channel is showing what uh, so two channels are there so color has no much meaning mm, but here some uh, whatever these uh, markings are coming parameters are showing one kilohertz is the frequency for this signal at the moment and uh, rs232 port is there in the back of this so you can co communicate with a computer and uh, it is edge auto this has been selected and trigger is on. channel 2 is triggered digital channel 2 is triggered now at the moment you can see because we are connected to channel 2 so channel 2 is triggered and this is locked up 
and here is uh, this uh, 100 kilo cycle per second uh, 25 uh, 250 microsecond is the time base this one if we change this one you can see the signal is changing i mean to say the display is changing with this one the change with the uh, time base you can see this is congesting or expect expanding the signal so if this is for the purpose you can use and these lines have it, its purpose you can count one division second division so two divisions are coming for this signal and this one division is of course 250 microsecond so you can multiply it and you can get the frequency which is one kilohertz of course at the moment so this thing is and uh, this voltage also uh, one volt per division means one two so this is two volt and here of course this two volt is written you can see two volt is written over here this one so two volt is and now two volt signal is showing uh, so this is a little bit ma mathematics you must know a little bit of mathematics and if you want to have a blank screen to visualize the signal properly so there is a display button over here so pressing on the display button you can go with the f5 you can make it totally blank the screen you can see now totally blank no lines nothing no vertical no horizontal lines only a frame is there and then there is a signal inside uh, so this is showing uh, this review is not paid this is free uh, review I'm doing because for this scope I um, spent my money to purchase this one and uh, you can purchase any scope any DSO better one even better than this one there are there are very very much expensive scopes are available some ten thousand dollar or something more even twenty thousand dollar scopes will be available in the market whatever you can uh, purchase you are meant to say you can afford you have to purchase uh, but this is also a good one as I picked it up for a reasonable price so this one is and now I'm shifting to the other scope which I have this old one this old one is of course old one and you know this is very difficult to use and not easy but those days it was good because there was nothing to use those days so if I will connect it to here on this uh, calibration pin I mean to say uh, whatever this 0.5 volt calibration pin they have provided a uh, peak to peak so I can check this signal over here so this signal is coming you can see the square wave uh, but if I wiggle on these uh, knobs the signal is going bad and worst something like that because these knobs they are switch switches inside mechanical switches and they are collecting dust and then they are creating problem but you cannot open it and clean it something like that is not possible for these otherwise you have to open and replace these switches and they are those are very very much expensive repairs nowadays because these switches are not very easily available and also you will have to set this up manually i'm setting it up you can see this trace i'm setting up manually so this is very difficult situation is i'm encountering while working on such a scope so see this one is and very difficult situation really i don't know how to cope with this one i was using this before uh, i used it little not too much uh, but it was all the time it was hardship it was hard to use and it was difficult to use uh, but with this uh, dso you know nowadays this electronics has uh, got very very much uh, good days and good time has been come and uh, now we are in the era of very modern electronics so that's why these things are also very much modern and they are easy to use only once auto set button you have to set up and the scope will do it for you i mean to say the measurement it will take for yours for you there is no much um, retention is required for the from the personnel who is using the oscilloscope uh, you have to focus on your circuit instead of focus on setting it up and uh, powering it up and uh, switching in between the signals and uh, in between the knobs so this is this was a difficult way while it was the older days and now this new time is good and we have good oscilloscopes and we have very easy to use oscilloscopes so thank you for technology thanks for technology i mean to say thanks for technology um, because with the advancement of technology we have these such nice good instruments uh, and they are giving us a facility to use them and uh, in very easy, easy manner and very easy method we can use them uh, actually the oscilloscope what it is is very many many people have confusion that what it is doing this big big boss what it is doing it is actually this meter uh, what the meter is doing on voltage range uh, voltage ac and voltage dc the same is doing this oscilloscope 
and even more it is doing because this is showing you the what the visual picture it is showing you the visual picture of the voltage uh, what type of waveform is involved what type of waveform is going on in the circuit and uh, you can see uh, what is the real uh, shape of the waveform so that shape is important in electronics uh, what we are going to give in input and what we are getting in and in, in output and what is going on in, in between the circuits uh, so this thing is important so this all is viewed on this oscilloscope without oscilloscope there is no way you cannot do it by any mean uh, so you every person who uh, who is concerned with electrical and electronics must have to have this uh, oscilloscope because they are nowadays very cheap they are not very expensive as they were very very much expensive in the older days this one i picked up uh, as uh, used but this uh, was not good as you can see this is difficult to use and this one is of course a uh, goodbye i mean to say i'm saying goodbye to this scope and uh, now this has been replaced i mean to say this will come on my table workbench and i will say goodbye to this older unit uh, so friends hope uh, this review video you people would like if you liked it give a big thumbs up uh, subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so then you will get notifications on each upload thank you for watching